After a hard day of work, my coworkers and I decided to relax by a creek in Hope Valley. There, we discovered someone who was still on the clock. An American beaver, Castor canadensis. The North American beaver, along with its Eurasian relative, the only other species of beaver, are tied in second place for the world's largest rodent, bested only by the South American capybara. Their native range is widespread across the continental U.S. and Canada, but they've been introduced to several countries, such as Germany, Finland, and Argentina. For beavers, a willow branch such as this can either be brought back to their larder and added to their food reserve, or it can be used as building materials. It must be comforting knowing at the end of the day if you ever run out of food, you can always eat your house. They were heavily exploited by early European settlers and quickly became a large part of the developing American economy. This is because the settlers were familiar with beavers and their uses. However, the Eurasian beaver, which they were familiar with, was becoming scarce back home due to overexploitation for their fur and for castoria, a yellow, musky substance used as a perfume base. Thankfully, after demand for beaver products decreased, regulations were enacted, and reintroductions took place, the North American beaver now has healthy populations across its native range. Beavers are known as ecosystem engineers because their ability and tendency to build structures such as lodges and dams fundamentally change the environment around them, generally resulting in the creation of wetlands, which are incredibly biodiverse regions. In a paper published in 2002, Wright, Jones, and Flecker discovered that an increase in habitat heterogeneity by beaver influence increased herbaceous plant diversity by 33% along the riparian zone. Essentially, beavers make habitats more complex, and more complex habitats support a greater number of species. If this hasn't been enough to impress you, and you're still wondering where that phrase, busy beaver, came from, well, then you should probably talk to the beavers responsible for this. This is a view of the world's largest beaver dam, as seen from space. This is in Alberta, Canada, and is a whopping 2,790 feet long, which is over twice the length of the Hoover Dam. I'm not exactly sure of the process you have to go through to nominate a set of beavers for an engineering award, but I think we should start looking into that. Before we say goodbye to our beaver buddy, I'm going to throw out a few more fun facts your way. Beavers have large lungs and can hold their breath for up to 15 minutes, which is vital for underwater construction. They generally live 10 to 12 years in the wild, but with proper care, one's lived as long as 30 years in captivity. They're also one of the few animals that remains faithful. They generally mate for life, which I find adorable, and their babies are called kits. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about California's flora and fauna, or you just want to watch relaxing nature videos, click on one of the links on the screen. If you want to stay updated with all my newest activity, hit subscribe. Either way, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new.